Ramadan Kareem or Ramadan Mubarak. So both of those phrases are ways of saying Happy Ramadan and Ramadan is the most holy month for Muslims around the world who are practicing and it's a month known for fasting. We essentially fast from dawn to sunset every day for those 30 days. And actually, if you didn't know, women are exempt from fasting when they're on their period. We're actually fasting as we film this now, and I wanted to mention that because that'll clear the misconceptions that it's miserable and we're on our couch just like dreaming of food. Um, we've been fasting since we were young, so maybe we're used to it, but it definitely is doable and manageable. People do intermittent fasting you know, for 14 to 16 hours. If you think about it, there are people doing it around the world. They're just labeling it different things, but the actual fast is doable if anyone ever wants to try it. It's still hard sometimes, but we try to look at the bigger picture to keep us going. Yeah. yeah. So this month isn't only about fasting. It actually is a beautiful time where we can reflect on our actions, how we can become a better person, how we can give back to the community. Yeah, we actually create Ramadan goals usually. So for example, a goal could be if I want to actually make an effort to read more of the Quran, which is the holy book in Islam. Or practice patience. Exactly, like we practice. For some people, it's even like less time on social media, more time they just want to be yeah. present. And people don't realize that you actually can break your fast if you lose your temper with someone or if you get into a fight with someone. So it's not just about the food, but it's also how you act um, on your day-to-day -day basis. So when you take away the food and water, the basic necessities of your daily life, you're allowed to be more hyper aware of your surroundings. So it's definitely a good time to just reflect and see where you can improve. So let's get into the fast. Let's get into it. So you start off the fast with the morning breakfast, which we call suhoor, and that's the meal you have before dawn. So usually we have something light like fruit or dates just to kind of make it easier to fall back to sleep afterwards. But we start off the day with suhoor. I know Louisa has like her go-to menu. She's like very routine or she has the same thing. I don't want to day. think too much when it's like four in the morning. I like to switch it up sometimes. But for our first suhoor, which was this morning, um, we had juices and fruit. So iftar is the meal where you finally break your fast and we usually break our fast with just a few dates or a juice and then we go for the prayers and then we come back and have a proper meal after with the family. Uh, so again, like some people around the world do end up feasting, but we try to be mindful of the core kind of purpose of Ramadan, which is to practice humility and to practice kind of a more clear state of mind. So we try to not overindulge um, and we're really being mindful of it this month especially. So after you pray, so you're not like overly like eating the second that your fast breaks, after you pray and you've had like time to chill a bit, then we have like a proper meal when we have dinner. Um, so everyone does it differently, but I'm trying to have a healthy long run this year. And then throughout the day, we still just go about our normal schedule. So today we're at the office, continuing work, and then- But we do have flexible work hours, like I will True. say, cause we're not, perfect robot. And Dubai is amazing that they allow for flexible work hours. Yeah. I don't know if they do that in the States or London. Oh, it was so hard fasting when I was in yeah. the States, especially when I was working. I remember it was just hard working for another company in a country where at least not many people were openly fasting, so it wasn't a thing, and I didn't want to tell my boss I was fasting. Yeah. Um, but also, it's a really beautiful month where people love to come together. So we actually always have family friends that are having people over for iftar, the meal where you break your fast together. There's always like, oh guys, let's meet later at night for suhoor. So I would say Ramadan is a huge community month where people actually love to have you over at their house. And actually, if you have friends who are Muslim who are fasting, just know, most likely it's an experience they want to share with other people. Let us know if you have any questions and we hope you guys have an amazing month if you're fasting as well. And if not, then I hope you learned a lot today. Bye guys.